Hey guys, here I am showing off my latest project where I'm taking some uh, two inch faux wood blinds that I already own and turning them into automated blinds that will open and close when it's day or night out. Uh, maybe in the summer it's too hot, I'll have them close half the way and I can just control them through my home automation system, my TV remote, stuff like that. I bought an Arduino to do this and it's pretty damn simple. Uh, let me just demo this right now. I'm going to cover up the light sensor. and take my hand away let's try it again works pretty good and uh i just want to show you what i have here so these you know because it's such a, a big blind it's got a big thingy up here this you know it's got a huge channel for me to put components and all that kind of stuff and the only components i'm using right now is a uh, servo uh, which is just being padded by a paper towel right now, but the servo is connected directly into the existing uh, Little whatever this plastic thing is and it just fits in works perfectly I was a little worried about having to rig up some Shaft thingy and then what I'm using to control it is an Ar Arduino board just bought you can get them for like 20 bucks uh, and uh, right now it's powered off USB it's gonna be run off uh, 5 volt DC that I'm going to hide and uh, right now it's on a uh, breadboard controlling it and the uh, breadboard will eventually be just put into a small little uh, project board kind of thing. Um, right now all I have going on here is uh, I've got this light sensor right and I said I was doing a bunch of other fancy stuff, like I'm going to put an infrared emitter on it so I can control it from a, a TV remote, and I'm going to put a temperature sensor on it, things that I've already bought. And I'll show you that stuff real quick. Here's the temperature sensor. Um, that was a dollar. And somewhere is the infrared sensor uh, right here. Uh, that was a dollar. And same with this photo sensor was a buck. So a Arduino, 20, 24, 30 bucks. Now the three dollars for three sensors to give me awesome capabilities, right? It's not like I had to spend a lot of money to get the infrared or spend the extra money to get the light sensing. No, I spent another dollar, use a product I already have. These things are awesome, by the way. I wrote some code. I used some examples I saw. I mean, it's really not very much uh, code here. Come on, get up, get up. Uh, okay, can't find it. Take my word for it. It's like 10 lines. Sorry, more like 30. Um, and it's simple. Now, another thing I could have done is I could have thrown a Wi-Fi shield on top of this so I connect to it over wireless. But my project right now is about $40 invested. Wi-Fi shield is like 40, 50 bucks. So I'm not doubling the cost just to have that. I have other means to deal with this sort of stuff. Uh, one thing I want to add to this as well, which is about $2, is a infrared transmitter. So I can do some cool stuff, like when it's sunny out, my blinds are open. When it's nighttime, my blinds close. And um, when they close, they send off an infrared signal to uh, my receiver for my TV here, which I've demoed before. And I could program it to turn lights on without ever having to interface over Wi-Fi with my uh, computer. Um, this fits perfectly in here, okay? And this breadboard is going to be a lot smaller when I have it done. I'll probably fit it right in here somewhere. And the servo, uh, after I clip these tabs off, it actually will fit in perfectly too. And I'll have uh, the infrared hanging out the front. And... Uh, yeah, things will be great. 